we can't talk about Stephen King's It without talking about Pennywise. Yeah. And there was a lot of skepticism when that first image of Bill Skarsgård as sort of an old-timey clown was released and people were like, not my Pennywise. You know, <laughs> everyone's used to Tim Curry's version of the character as, again, someone who does not have the knowledge entirely of what Tim Curry did beyond, like, you know, memes on the internet and, and an image here and there. I will say I feel like this version of Pennywise not only was distinct, but also terrifying. And I think Bill Skarsgård did a really good job making uh, Pennywise more than just a scary clown. Like he is not a clown. There is something weird. There's something off. Like, and, and you see it in that first scene with him, with Georgie, when he is like beckoning him in and he's drooling and you see that look on his face that scares Georgie. Like, I love that scene and it sets the yeah. tone. I'm getting chills. Like it sets the tone of the movie so well. And I think he really was just like perfectly cast and, and his portrayal is just like so strong. I can't quite talk about it right now. It's under embargo, but I do have stuff with Bill Skarsgård uh, going up yeah. next week uh, where he talks about finding the voice, finding the laugh, working on the look, how he got into the character. It was really interesting stuff. So uh, check it out next week. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will say that I, I liked that the idea of it is not of this world, and it's trying to like approximate sort of human behavior. Mm -hmm. And so I think that speaks to your idea that like, there's something not quite right about like when he's even trying to have a conversation. Like, it doesn't it doesn't quite connect to somebody who's like you know it's something that would understand how people are supposed to communicate. Right. You know, and he, Tim Curry's portrayal was more of a scary clown. Yeah. Right. Or not. I, I think he. I think Tim Curry leans a lot more on the jokey sort of jovial aspect of the character, whereas mm -hmm. I, that is something. Bill Skarsgård just like kind of really issues and just really goes for mm -hmm. just creepy clown. Yeah. I think he's much scarier than Tim Curry's. I, I mean, mean Tim, Tim Curry's, we, we have to, just to put it in some some uh, context, Tim Curry's Pennywise is coming, was the year after Jack Nicholson's Joker, mm -hmm. which was still when you look at how the Joker's been portrayed since, is still a jokier version, so it's like leaning into the humor of a clown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, they, they don't really have clown characters in kids shows anymore, but no. when I was growing up, they were still like Bozo. I mean, it's yeah. probably because Yeah, it's probably like because right of it. it. But like no the Pennywise of the Tim Curry Pennywise was definitely a nod to like Bozo the Clown and that yeah. whole era of TV clown where you like, you're watching it and it is just creepy, like, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought that I thought Bill Scars another another thing that I really appreciated about his portrayal of it, and we kind of we touch on it a little bit, is how otherworldly he feels. Mm. Like he really not only just in his voice, uh, his physicality and his uh, it's almost it's it's almost a mockery yeah. of like when of he comes humanity. out of that uh, yeah. wardrobe or armor yeah, or whatever. Oh, refrigerator. Yeah, refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which was like that was a fun little book nod for uh, for anyone that knows the refrigerator scene yeah. in the book. Yeah. Uh, and he's perfect. six foot five, so the yeah. fact that he is just a towering presence. Period. Yeah. But then to put him in that outfit. Actually, no. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the film played around with scale a lot. Yes. Like there are a lot of scenes where you know, even though he's a, a tall guy, like Pennywise is much larger than the kids and yeah. like I, I think it does it in a subtle way that you might not necessarily overtly notice but I think that what the movie sort of going back to the subtlety does a good job of is it is un otherworldly. There is an answer to what Pennywise is in the books that the movie makes enough of an allusion to that makes you curious, that makes you want to have that character explained. Yes, IGN does have Amazing. a Pennywise explained uh, <laughs> piece, but you know, it, it makes you want to know what the deal is and get the sense that he's not just a clown, especially when he sort of sheds the skin, but doesn't tell you what it is in a way that you know could take you out of the moment. Yeah, like the mouth yeah. open. Mouth. Yeah, yeah, and like and like the orbs inside or whatever, and you yeah. can sort Dead of see. Lights. Those yeah. Are the dead I'm, well, yes, but see, like the movie doesn't tell you that, um, and I think that that's a, again a delicate balance to be struck, but one it did really well that leaves you curious, leaves you with the understanding, it is not of this world, but you don't necessarily need to know the finite details of what it is. Yeah, and I'm really hoping that that is what we see explored more in uh, in the sequel because they've kind of come out and said that the next one is probably going to go into the history of Derry more mm -hmm. and showing that, and they go into this a little bit in the movie that this, you know, has been happening for a long time and it happens at a regular interval of 27 years. And so 
Uh, that's one thing that as like a big fan of the book, I was a little disappointed not to see sort of the, the cosmic horror aspect of the book sort of abandoned a little bit. But I think there is room to add it in the sequel with the knowledge that the hints to it in this movie are just that they're seeds that are going to- Well, you, you can know, watch blossom. The Dark Tower. They have a hint of Pennywise <laughs> in that, you know? That's true. Um, I could. I, I will say that um, the, uh, again, I can't, I can't really say too much, but uh, Bill Skarsgård did say that there's existential qualities of the book that he believes that they're going to explore a little yeah, bit more in the I sequel. Hope so. We have a lot of it content coming out. We're just as excited to, to keep talking about this movie as you guys hopefully are. So make sure to keep that out uh, an eye out for that. I also want to give a plug to the amazing it PSA that this guy right here worked on. We're we're gonna link to it. You're gonna watch it. It's excellent. You'll you'll get your second dose of the kids there. That's everything it for us. But you as should I check said, out our review too. Oh yes, absolutely. We we have our review of it. We gave it a 9.2, and you'll find out why in that review. Um, that's all for us here, though. For all things It and everything scary, we're getting to October. We have a lot more coming. <laughs> Keep it here at IGN and make sure to like and subscribe everywhere you like to watch.